Hey guys, I'm Phil Town from Rule One Investing and today I want to talk to you guys about the power of waiting. How waiting, waiting, like doing nothing, okay, can make all the difference when you're investing. So let's talk about waiting. Charlie Munger, who's Warren Buffett's partner, said, you don't make money when you buy a stock and you don't make money when you sell a stock. You make money when you wait. Now, this is a really, really powerful assertion. I mean, it's kind of crazy when you think about it. What's he saying? You don't make money when you buy, because of course you do, you, you buy low and you don't make money when you sell, but of course you do, you sell high. I mean, the whole idea of rule one investing is you buy with a 50% discount, you sell when it goes on up to its normal value and you're making money by buying at a good price. But that's, Charlie's going, no, 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 no. No, that's what it looks like. But really, the key is doing nothing most of the time, waiting. This is so critical. It is impossible for professional money managers to wait patiently for a really great opportunity. They can't do it, and the world of professional money managers is full of cautionary tales of money managers who've tried to copy Warren Buffett, buy a very small number of stocks, sit in cash for a very long time, and wait for their great opportunity. And the reason that they can't do it, and the reason these guys have become cautionary tales, is because their clients will not allow them to wait patiently in cash while the stock market is going up. I'm telling you, I mean, this is a huge problem for fund managers because they know, they know that investing properly means you wait patiently until you get this great opportunity of something that's on sale and it doesn't come along every day, not at least a company that you understand. And so because they have clients who demand constantly Every quarter, I want to see my portfolio go up or I'm pulling that $50 million out of there and I'm going to put it with some other fund manager. That pressure has taught professional fund managers that the best way to manage money is to just shadow the market. It goes up, it goes down, whatever it does, shadow the market. Don't try to be a hero. Now, the other thing you need to understand is that Charlie believes there's only a small number of great opportunities that you can get very high returns with very low risk, and that's the key. Now, he basically said, what you should do is go get a punch card and it has, has 20 spots for punches in it, like a subway card or something, and you gotta punch one of those spots every time you buy a stock, and when you run into 20 punches, you're done with investing for your lifetime. In other words, if you are forced to only buy when you know you only have 20 punches in your life, you're gonna wait for really good opportunities. Warren Buffett said that if you remove the 10 best deals that he ever did, Berkshire would have average market level performance. It's the, it's the few unusual and rare opportunities that allow you to have enormously high rates of return with low risk. And the only way to get those kinds of opportunities is, is that you have to wait and wait and wait for the right opportunity to come along. Now, of course, while you're waiting, you're learning, you're reading, you're studying, you're building your watch list, all those things are going on. But when the market comes along where it changes the price value ratio and you get something with a value up here and a price down here, that's when you load up the truck and you don't do it otherwise. Buffett said that our style of investing is laziness bordering on sloth. You wait and you wait and you wait. Now this is really cool for a small investor. You got a nice watch list and you're just waiting for an opportunity to buy the stuff and you're gonna sit there in cash until you get it. In a market like this one, that's being massively manipulated by governments worldwide, currency manipulation, massive monetary policy manipulation, it's really hard to wait because the market keeps getting pushed up into higher and higher territory. But it's more important than ever to wait because when a market is artificially lifted up, it's like a balloon that's being pumped up with helium artificially, much, much bigger than it should be, then when this balloon pops, it pops bigger than it otherwise would have. And you're gonna get the opportunities of a lifetime if you have your cash. So now, I'd love to hear about this from you guys. I mean, this is a very controversial idea. The cool thing you need to understand is that this is something the small investor can do because you control your money. 
Professionals can't do it. Very, very few. Now, are there any investing situations that you've been, you know, where you kind of been waiting a really long time? Have you ever seen one of those that really paid off? Love to see about that. And how many of you have ever rushed in where you didn't wait and just grabbed something? And how did that pan out? So leave a comment below. This is, this is a great conversation let's have about this and I'll be sure and follow up with you. So you guys, thanks for watching. Now go play. Now, if you enjoyed this video and you thought it was valuable teaching you more about ruling your financial future, I hope you subscribe to my channel. I hope you like it and then share it with your friends or everybody else. And to learn more about how to start investing, please just go download my free quick start guide. All you gotta do is click the link on the screen or in the description.